to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mimi and I competed on the iconic 25th season of Big Brother. Today's video is all about the audition tape and how you can improve yours to catch the eye of the BB casting team and get that call back that you have been waiting for. I recently caught up with the producers that pulled my diamond in the rough audition tape out of the tens of thousands that were submitted and they told me exactly what I did to catch their eye and now I'm gonna tell you. But before I spill the tea, let's watch the audition tape that got me casted on season 25. <laughs> my check one two one two <laughs> okay i'm joking hi big brother i'm me Cole hayes i'm 29 years old and i currently reside in washington dc now that we've gotten all the formalities out of the way let's talk about what you really want to know when i walk in the room i'm a vibe but i'm not just a pretty face banging body vibe i'm also an intellectual vibe i hold a master's degree in education policy i spent five and a half years working on Capitol Hill and I currently serve as a political consultant. I have some top-notch negotiation skills. I am extremely strategic and most importantly, I know how to serve as a thought partner to people who think that they're smart, who think that they're important so that ultimately I can get what it is that I want, which is going to be part of my strategy coming into that big brother house. You know, oftentimes when people see me, they see the ultimate it girl and catch me slaying down the gram. It is not abnormal to see me on the runway with the likes of Coco Rocha, or you can catch me in front of the camera as one of DC's top socialites. Don't let that fool you. I have an extremely competitive edge. I spent 12 and a half years playing competitive softball. One of those years playing softball at a D1 college. So I am not scared to get my hands dirty. And most importantly, I know how to get shit done. My strategy coming into the Big Brother house is gonna be to start by laying low. I want people to see me and see a very cute, petite, non-threatening woman. Someone who they think does not have the ability to win any comps, has no ability to win any vetoes. That's gonna be great for me. That helps me to lay low and stay under the radar. Once a few folks start going home, then I can turn up the heat. I can start working my ass off on those comps. Pray to the Lord Jesus Christ that I get to play in the veto. Then I can use my social game and my charm to finesse my way through the rest of this game, okay? So I'm ready to show up and show out. I'll stop there. I do not want to talk you guys' heads off, but I will leave you with this. In the words of the late, great, Kim Possible, call me, beat me if you want to reach me. <laughs> Bye, big brother. Okay, wait, so what are the vibes? What are your first impressions? Comment something below that stood out to you from the audition tape. But y'all felt the energy though, right? Like you could literally feel the good energy and the good vibes through the screen. And that is what casting is looking for. Which brings me to my first tip. Treat your audition tape like your diary room fantasy. You have been dreaming of the day that you step foot in the Big Brother house. And now it's time to start manifesting and actually showing up in your audition tape like you're already there. Like just imagine yourself in the diary room and the type of energy that you plan to bring and lean into that. Like what's your vibe? Are you super snarky or are you more of the nerd archetype? Are you super quick with it and full of jokes or are you super self-absorbed and self-aware? Like whatever your vibe is, please do not sell yourself short. I promise you that it's not helpful to anybody. If you have never done the most in your life, now is the time to start, sis. I need you to be as loud, as extra, and as delusional as you can possibly stand because I promise you it is going to make your audition tape 10 times better. For my second tip, I actually want to debunk the myth that you need a whole bunch of fancy edits and fancy music to make a good audition tape because that is the furthest thing from the truth. Keep it simple and skip the dramatic editing. Obviously you need good lighting and good audio so that the casting team can clearly hear and see you without any issue. But other than that, you can keep it pretty simple. Now for context, there is nothing wrong with adding a little clip here, sprinkling a photo there, just to add a little flavor to the story that you're telling. But don't go overboard and don't get crazy. You are not being casted for your editing skills. You're being casted for your personality. So keep that in mind and keep that at the forefront. My next tip is to tell your story. I know that casting prefers tapes that are anywhere between two to three minutes long because they actually want the chance to get to know you and it's hard to do that in only a few seconds. So just remember that this is your chance to sell yourself. Find three to four things about yourself that are super out there, super interesting, super quirky, or maybe even super annoying and really dig into those. Talk to them about how your life experiences have prepared you to play a game like Big Brother or how whatever it is that you do for work has given you great people skills which could translate into a great social game. Like there are so many things that you can talk about. You just need to figure out what those things are. If you are an introvert like me who does not like to speak to anybody until 10 a.m. or who likes to go and decompress in the storage room by themselves, 
talk about that let them know it's funny it's cute it's snarky it's interesting they love that type of stuff because i promise you that they are not looking for perfect people who have it all together some of us will be better at the game than others and that's okay some of us will have greater strengths or greater weaknesses than others and that's okay as well the juxtaposition of players is what makes big brother so interesting so show them who you are lean into all of the quirky cool interesting things about yourself and tell them who you are at your core like who you really are and own it okay so my last tip and the single most important thing that you will hear today is to show up in your audition tape as your best self on your best day listen to me closely when i say that your goal should be to bring the energy and to lay it on thick and i mean Th 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 thick. It's reality TV and girl most importantly it's Big Brother the most unserious show on the face of the planet so why are you treating your audition tape like it's a job interview? Show the side of your personality that your best friends get to see. Like just think about it when are you your most bold and authentic self? Because that is exactly who you need to be in your audition tape. Try to use the first 10 seconds of your audition tape to catch their attention but please no weird gimmicks there's no reason why you need to be showing up in a cockle doodle zoom costume okay cute A for effort but come on now let's let's be serious here okay y'all that's all i got i hope that you found these tips to be super helpful and i hope that they make you feel a little more confident a little more comfortable as you go to record your audition tape if you guys actually have any questions that i didn't touch on or anything that you think that i should feel free to leave them below in the comment section and i will try my hardest to get those answered for you thank you guys for watching today's video and until next time